Hello everyone, we will continue the topic function module and in the previous videos, we created the function module in which the input is order number, output is details of order number from order header and order item table. Now we have same to same requirement. Input is order number, output is details of order number. The major one difference, if I will say, rather than a single order number, now we will go for range of order number. Our input will be range or multiple values of order number. In the previous function module, at a time you can only only pass single order number. Now what is our requirement? We will develop a function module in which at a time we can pass multiple order numbers or we can say range of order numbers. And huge, huge amount of learning will be there in this particular video. Now you all know very well. Whenever you want to give a range of order number, whenever you want to go for multiple values of order number, how you are giving through select option? Yes, select option accept multiple values or we can say select option accept a range of values. Now, firstly, we will dig down into select option this part is fully, fully explained. What are the various parts of select option in the ABAP programming playlist only. But to understand here, we will dig down again and then I will come on to the topic. How I will pass the multiple range of order number. So firstly, I will go for this program. Suppose I will put a breakpoint into this program. This is the program which we developed previously in which we have the input is select option. Input is range of order number. Suppose I am giving 1 to 5. I am going to execute. This is my select option. This is my select option. When I double click on the select option is select option is a internal table yes select option is a internal table now the next question is if select option is a internal table we have how many columns in the internal table we always always has four columns in the internal table a select option is a internal table of how many column? Four column. What is first column? Sign. What is second column? Option. What is third column? Low. What is fourth column? High. This part is fully, fully explained. What are the various parts of select option? You can listen those particular videos. But at this point of time, we will cover the main, main points. Select option yes it is a internal table yes it is in the form of table and internal table has how many column four column sign option low and high now select option is a internal table with header line or without header line it is a internal table with header line because the internal table name is same as that of work area. Just see, I double clicked on select option name and two things came automatically. One with bracket and one is without bracket. The one which came with bracket, it is a table. It is a table and it is a work area, work area. You all know very, very well with header line means the internal table name is same as that of work area. So this is your internal table. This is your work area. So how we can distinguish if we are using bracket 
it means it is a internal table. If we are not using bracket, this is work area. This is full concept we explained in the previous videos. What is internal table with header line? In case of internal table with header line, the internal table name is same as that of work area. How we distinguish between internal table and work area? If we are using bracket, it is a internal table. If we are not using bracket, it is a work area. So you can see this is a internal table and this is a work area. Just see it is not in the form of table. It has only single record. So this is work area and this is a internal table. So conclusion is Yes, select option is a internal table of four columns. What is the length of sign? Sign has a length of one, one. And you all know it is already explained. The value of sign is always I or E. I stands for include, E stands for exclude. What is the length of option? Option is always two length. Yes, the option is relational operator and length is two. Relational operator means equal to, between, less than, greater than. These all are relational operator. Low means low value. High means high value. In our current example, I put one to five. So one is low value and five is high value. And how the length of low and high is 10, it depends upon for which field you are creating select option. In our current scenario, we created the select option for order number. But is the length of order number 10? It means low is also 10, high is also 10. So this understanding will help us to take multiple values in the function module. So yes, select option is always, always a internal table of how many column? Four column. What are those four column? Sign, option, low and high. And yes, it is a internal table with header line, with header line. Now, the length of sign is one, the length of option is two, and low and high depends upon the field for which field you are creating select option. Now we will proceed to our topic. This is full understanding so that we can proceed with our topic. Now we will create a function module and inside that function module, our input will be range of order number. So what I will do, I will firstly go to SC37 transaction code and we will create a function module first. We will not create function group again because function group is one time activity in one function group. You can store up to 99 function module. Suppose I'm saying ZFM display suppose we will write multiple orders i will go for create i will pass the name of the function group which we created parallelly i will open function group also so that we can understand fully This is our function group. As of now, we have two function modules and we have two U, U01, U02, because we have two function modules in the function group. Now I will store the third function module into this function group. I will write to display the order details. We'll go for save. Okay. I will activate the function module. Now I will refresh and show you. 
now we have third function module in the function group if i will go to uxx you can see u03 came and in the u03 we had the third function module now our input to this function module will be range of order numbers this part we will continue in the next video so what is the summary of the video in this video we took the requirement that we will create a function module and input will be multiple order number range of order number to pass the range or multiple order number we understood the concept of select option first because select option helps us for the range yes a select option is a internal table which has four column sign option low and high yes and select option is a internal table with header line in the next video we will apply that concept here and we will continue the practical in the next video so that's it in this video thank you